Hello, my name is Louisa from Get Creative in Brighton and this is Emily and we're here today to read you another story followed by a nature craft activity and it looks as though our cat has come along to help as well. So today's story is entitled Where's My Teddy? and it's by somebody called Jez Albra. Now after we've read this story we've been collecting a few bits and bobs haven't we Emily? Do you want to pick up the basket? So there's a few bits and bobs, not as many as last time actually, but we've just got them from our front garden, haven't we? Yeah. I was doing a little bit of weeding and we managed to pull out a few little weeds and things which we're going to use in a minute after our story with something, thank you, you can put that down there, something related to our story. So here we go. We might have another surprise visitor halfway through the story too. Who knows? Ed is off to find his teddy. Ed is Teddy's name is Freddy. We all like a teddy, don't we? Yeah. Yes. You've got a nice teddy you like? Mm -hmm. Yes. He lost him in the woods somewhere. It's dark and horrible in there. <gasps> Help! said Eddie. I'm scared already. Oh, my bed. Oh, oh, my, my teddy. Oh, poor old Eddie. He's feeling very sad, isn't he? I you hope know, you're not finding that funny, Emily. <laughs> he tiptoed on and on until something made him stop quite still. Look out, he thought. There's something there. Oh, what's that? A giant teddy bear. Oh, is it Freddy? said Eddie. What a surprise! How did you get to be this size? You're too big to huddle and cuddle, he said. And I'll never fit both of us into my bed. Look how big he is. Oh, goodness, he's sitting on his knee. I don't think you can sit on that teddy's knee, can you? Uh, oh, there we go, sort of. Then, out of the darkness, Clearer and clearer, the sound of a sobbing came nearer and nearer. Soon the whole wood could hear the voice bawl. Oh, how did you get to be so tiddly and small? You're too small to huddle and cuddle, it said. And you'll only get lost in my giant-sized bed. It was a gigantic <gasps> bear <gasps> and a tiddly teddy stomping towards the giant teddy and Eddie. <gasps> My Ted! gasped the bear. <gasps> a bear! screamed Eddie. <gasps> a boy! yelled the bear. <gasps> Look at that. Almost as good as our real bears right here. Where's the teddy? Is it up there? Look at the tiny teddy that's caught up here. Oh my goodness. <sighs> let's see what happens. Then let's drop them. Do a swap. 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 Then they ran and they ran through the dark wood back to their homes as quick as they could all the way back to their snuggly beds where they huddled and cuddled their own little tits. Oh, are they happy now? Yeah. Yes, is it right with its rightful owner? Is this one with its rightful owner? Yes. Oh, I'm so pleased. Thank you for being the surprise visitor today, <coughs> Mr. Bear, <laughs> under there. So, Mr. Bear, are you sticking around for a bit for a bit of craft? Yes, he is. He's going to stick around for a bit of craft. Wonderful. So, what I thought today we could do is we could make a bear. So, I'm going to bring forward this table here. Ooh, put this in front of us. Okay. So, I cut out some bears from some, oops, from some cardboard. So, here's a piece of cardboard. And I just drew a teddy. I'm going to show you. How can I do it like that? Like a jigsaw puzzle. There you go. Drew a teddy like that. And then just started to cut around the outside until you get something like that, that, da, or that, 
da -da. You can do it whichever colour you want. You might have a cereal packet. You can just do it in a cereal packet. That's fine. You can always paint it if you want to. If you want to get really creative with it and a bit messy. Or if you decide not to be quite so messy, we can just get some sellotape and we can get our bits from outside. So, Emily, can you pass me the little basket with our things in? There. Oh, look, the little bears come to sit inside as well. Woo, oh, is a bit scared of the big bear. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got inside. I'm going to pass you some things, Emily. Here you go. What is that? Do you know what that is? Uh, what was it? It's a flower. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it a dandelion? It is a dandelion. And do look, people, do you, um, a lot of grown-ups like to see these in their gardens? Not always, because they're weeds. So that's why I picked them. So I would never go around picking up all the nice flowers from the garden because that would be just a wrong thing to do. And then all the lovely flowers would have gone and grown up would be a bit upset. Your garden wouldn't look so nice. We mustn't do it outside either. But little weeds like this are absolutely fine because I was doing a little bit weeding out the front. And that's what I got. I also got some of these tiny little flowers. They're a weed too. But they're quite pretty. They've got little purple bits in. So, purple. Purple. Like a little bit of purple. And I've got some leaves here. Some ivy. Nice green ivy. Ivy stays green for a very long time. Yeah. So that's why I like it for my craft. Because it doesn't go all kind of crispy and crunchy like leaves such as these. Which is another plant that I was having to get rid of in my front garden. So there's a few bits there, Emily. So would you like to first of all think, how, what are you going to do? I should leave the holes in the ears. If you're making one of these teddy bears, make sure you've got two little holes in the ears. You'll understand why in a minute. We're going to get to that bit. So think about the eyes, Emily. What are we going to use for the um, eyes? Maybe some dandelions. Dandelions. Great. So pop the dandelions in. One. <laughs> and... <laughs> and... Two. Oops. Two. Okay. Now, at the moment, it looks like he's crying at the back, doesn't it? <laughs> That's when he's lost his, his master. Um, at the back we've got the stalks there. So how do you think I could secure those? So a bit of sticky tape there. So we get a bit of sticky tape, stick it down. And on the other side, we'll stick it down somewhere. Try not to cover over the mouth because you might need to put something in that bit. It doesn't matter. There you go. Okay, right. Next thing. What about a nose? A nose. Right, is there anything else in there that you can see that you would like for a nose? Pointy. Something pointy? Yeah. Okay, what's that? Do you know what that is? Uh, a weed? It is another weed. It's another dandelion that hasn't actually opened. It's one of those fluffy, you know the dandelions which turn to dandelion clocks? Oh, yeah. You know, they go fluffy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I say, lovely pointy nose. I think we can nickname this one Pinocchio. Right. Pinocchio Junior. Pinocchio Junior. There you go. Looking wonderful. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Bear? What do you think, Mr. Bear? Uh, yeah, I think it's a thumbs up. It's a pour up. High five. Great. And um, what about some clothes? Should we stick some clothes on him? He's a bit naked at the moment. <laughs> Let's put some clothes on him. Look, there's a nice leaf here. Where should we, where should we stick it? <laughs> I've given some nice clothes. <laughs> there we go. Put it at the top. I think. Right. <laughs> You can put the leaves wherever you want. So there you are. We're having this one like a little sash going across the front there. Um, and, oh, belt. Oh, look at this. Or oh, tutu. It's like a ballerina bear. Ballerina bear. Pinocchio Junior, the ballerina bear. There you go. Can you get the sticky tape on? Let's show what we're doing with the sticky tape. Uh, Skinny yeah. over as much as, of that as you can. Look at that. I quite like that. Anything else for the ballerina bear? <laughs> No, I don't think they need a great big claw. Look at that. Oh, hang on, where's that going? <laughs> Emily, where's it going? <laughs> it's hands. Oh, right, okay. I was going to arms. Okay, right. So, go on then. You get to get some more sellotape. We'll stick that on there. That's a relief. Right, stick it on. Right, there we go. Right, and the other one. There we are. Can you stick it on the arm yeah. there? Lovely, it's looking very nice. Great. And um, anything else? Does our bear need anything else? What do we think? Hair. Hair. Oh, great. Okay. Nice. Can you uh, get something to stick? How are we going to do that? That's going to be a little bit tricky, but give it a go. I think we're just about looking beautiful. Whoa. Nice. Now, do you know what we can turn this into? Do you hide my bear? Yeah. 
Hi, Phil. Oh, yeah, the bear's talking now as well. Right, um, so with our bear, you obviously you can cover this completely yeah. in whatever way you want to. Now, remove those holes in the ears. Is there a piece of string or something? That would do. That's lovely. Oh, well, it's so long. It is long, isn't it? Now, can you thread it through? You can thread it through there. And it's not coming. there are two things that you could use this for. Once it's threaded uh, through, and you pull it out the uh, other side, there you go. Right, so Emily, if you stand there, you could either, I say, you can leave that stay there, you can either wear it as a lovely medallion, mm. like a necklace, very nice necklace like this, or you could, ah. whoop, you could just tie it and then you just tie the end. So you can make the necklace there. Or you can just hang it up somewhere in your house. There might be a nice place, maybe on your door, somewhere like that. And um, it'd be a lovely little memory of the book that we've just read. What do you reckon, Bear? Yeah, good. Do you want to wear it on you? Yeah, just sit up a bit. There you go. Oh, get that round you. There we go, there. We have a lovely bear medallion for our bear. Tinkerbell, our cat is coming. I think, if you sit back a bit, Tommy Bear. <laughs> There you, there you go. What do you reckon? What it's do you reckon? Beautiful. What do you reckon to that? She's like, mm, not too sure. Actually, wants one for herself. I think instead, she doesn't want the bear being given it. There you go. What do you think? Nice, kissy, kissy. There you go. So we hope you enjoyed our story of Where's My Teddy by Jess Albra. <laughs> and just careful with that, Emily. Don't want any scratches. And we hope that you have fun making a bear medallion. Yeah. If you'd like to see more of this, don't forget to visit our Get Creative and Brighton channel on YouTube. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, and one more thing. Shout outs. Out. I forgot the shout outs. So a shout out today in um, a pebble art book. Um, shout out to Darcy. Say hello, Darcy. Hello. Bye bye, bear. That's it. And to Elodie. Hello, Elodie. Hello. To River. Hi, River. Happy Hello. birthday, because I hear it's your birthday. And to Eva. And Maggie. And Albie. And another big shout out to Turtles Glass. Yay. Bear, have you got any shout outs? No. Frank. Frank, he wants to shout out to Frank. High five, Frank. Any shout outs? No, not really. No, not really today. That's a shame. Anyway, see you soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.